Fibonacci, is that you I see in the darkness? Yes, yes, my old friend. It is tragic that you are here, that, that you did not heed the warning. Ah, uh, how, how could I? I, I've grown old. I have so little time left. I, you should consider yourself lucky. Our lady very seldomly shows mercy. Mercy. Will I, will I be allowed to leave this place? In time. In time. What, what does she, what does she intend to do? She intends to correct you through death. No. No, you said. Do not fear, my friend. You have been granted mercy. She will bless you with death unending. You will join us. Ugh. Hello and welcome connoisseurs. Ooh. Hello and welcome canites, kindred, and other children of the night. We are here once again with Lucretia Giovanni. We probably need to take Athens today, you know? We probably need to do a bunch of other things too, like steal this guy's money, right? It's our money, we need it. We're gonna let this one cook a little bit longer though. You know, not in a rush, not in a rush. We're still working on getting our presents. We are swaying this Baroness because she can be saved, but we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do about the ones who can't be saved. Uh, this guy here, you know, kind of feel like I should just do the I should just do the the tyranny and get this uh, this war over. If I if I declare war, if I uh, revoke this dude's title of Genoa, what happens? Let's see what happens. Let's uh, move our flag. Let's move our flag. This border and this start raising everybody up here. Well, well, he lets us know. Oh, oh, look at that! Look at that! So there are three people involved, including this guy. You made a mistake, sir. Um, you made a mistake, but uh, you're a Giovanni, so you're good. I, I knew that Salangaria would, of course, join. That guy, uh, he made what I would call a good-for-him type mistake. Because I'm pretty sure that the end result is going to be that uh, his life gets saved. We learned a non-believer secret. That's fine. Let's just siege this down. We are going to run out of money so fast. But that's how war goes, you know. That's how war goes for us. I don't know what he thinks he's doing. Probably a mistake. What is this? Oh, thank you. I accept your gift. Oh, thank you. I accept your gift. Is this going to be three gifts? Aw. Oh, we're at war with you. Wait, no. You, we're not at war with you? No, you just look like the guy. Uh, they're wearing the same hat, okay? It's it's fine. This guy is a Toreador who wears the same hat as that Giovanni guy who who's already dedicated himself to the glorious, glorious death. So we're just gonna we're just gonna get in on that. Finish this siege here. No, I don't know why you keep doing this. It's the same every time. You're just gonna throw your money away. Like, literally, oh my god. You damaged my artifact in the siege. You sir are doomed. You're doomed. Like, this is... This is silly. You're gonna see how your life ends up. Because so far, you think you're winning, but you're not winning. Unsiege Roma. Uh, let's, uh... Let's pick somebody. Always daughters. Let's just... <laughs> let's, let, let's just tell them that we're the best, so we deserve the best. None of this pretending. Just, just straight in. It's it's ours. It's ours. Everything. They've always been ours. Look at that. 60% done now. You hurt my poor ghost. Not exactly as if my uh, treatment of them was respectful to begin with. Are you just going to do it again? You think that's a plan, do ya? I'm going to just uh, split this even like. And then... What's the other army? There's this army. I'm going to send this... Hmm. Okay, I want you not there. I want you in charge of the army that actually has the siege equipment. I want me in charge of the army that doesn't have the siege equipment. And I'm just going to send this army down this way. To catch you while you try to take over my capital because you're an idiot. 
Thank you, by the way, for being an idiot because you're just gonna help me win. Are you planning to like join? Are you doing this thing? Because there's no weakness over here. Just <laughs> there's nothing for you to do. There's there's no weak spots. There's just me doing sieges and crushing. Jeez, I'm so glad they gave me all that money. Oh well, I will accept your gift. They're all oh, they're funding my war so much. It's actually kind of hilariously awesome. Gotta change armies before we siege. There we go, we got him again. Quest for presents. So we're going to the county of Tivoli. Okay, I will get started right away. I'm fine with not actually being in this army. So we'll head out. I don't think there's anything we really want to do down there. This, this is annoying. Doesn't matter. Enforced demands. Demands are enforced. All right. Let's look at what our prison looks like here. Starting at the top, we have Salangaria. So Salangaria, I'm sorry. We're going to steal that from you. Uh, we're going to also take that from you. We're now a rival. We are going to do what we've always been planned to do, which is embrace you. You will be embraced. Now that's done. We got you. Uh, you are going to be replaced by your heir here. Um, oh wait, I I'm getting ahead of myself. You're not going to be replaced by anyone because everything you have is being taken from you. I don't care about that. We can fix that in time. Now looking at you, do you have money? You do. So we're going to ransom you. No, you're not worth it. So instead... I suppose we could execute you with just an exper just experiment on them, I think. Then we got this guy. This is our Giovanni guy. Um, he's going to get out really light. <laughs> oh, we're going to negotiate his release. We're going to uh, demand his conversion. This person here can't be ransomed for anything that matters, so we will negotiate her release by demanding her conversion. Uh, this Baroness here. No, oh, your heir is a dead guy. I'm going to probably just have to banish you. So we're gonna... Hmm, that won't work. I suppose we can revoke her. Then we can gain a hook on her. But this person, we're gonna revoke you. And then we're going to negotiate release. So, we're going to gain a hook on you. Probably just going to turn the hooks into money. You. I'll ransom you. Yourself. You. Are not worth ransoming. You hold no territory, so I'm going to negotiate your release. Get out of here. That should clear the prison. We're going to have to hand all this stuff out. Good. Let's disband our troops. So we're going to be splitting this domain. Uh, it's not no longer going to be what it once was. That guy got way too strong. What we got here is... I wanted to look at this. We got Genoa and Pisa, right? We're going to take Pisa here. We're going to grant this. What, so the castle holding is not the actual center of this domain? I guess not. I guess this is. So we're going to grant this to a proper Giovanni. Okay, so looking at Pisa here, we're going to grant this to somebody. Uh, we want to grant it to not ruler, right? Got her. She's the ghoul, though. The herd member. Got this person. This is a Tremere. Give give Pisa to a Tremere. We got five more. One, two, three, four, five. It's all of these, so we're just gonna hold on to these for a bit. We just slow this down a bit so we can manage our situation a little bit better. This is election for air. And you are the boss. And you can also have a sway. 
I get it. You're unhappy because of the um, the tyranny, but uh, it's an error. You don't you don't want to be unhappy for long. You know, not for the best. So you have been embraced. So I am going to. I suppose I gotta um, negotiate your release by recruiting you and demanding a hook. That it's not gonna make you happy. Uh, we'll do the middle. Okay. Now we want to grant you this, this, and this. Probably too much. But we're going to do it anyway. Probably too much, though. Thanks for the money. Nice. And nice. So we got all of our money back. Which is kind of what we were hoping for would happen. Due to all of this. We're going to have to fix Roma, of course. Because it's gotten all mussed up. Let's uh, clear out things in Roma here. Good. We've now pretty much smashed... Salanguria into bosshood. <laughs> We're going to need to see how things reorganize themselves. If we look at the council here, some things are going to have to be reorganized. She is a better spy master, but he's going to be a powerful vassal. So if we look at our current powerful vassals, there's her who's useless. And our son. Realistically. This count here remains a problem. Hold mystical communion. Almost always a good idea. Uh, we got some stress downs with no stress. We got grand tour money. A little bit of time pass. See how Salanguria is doing. Going to need to build up his strength before he uh, he becomes truly strong. What is happening in here? Got two new items. Havard's battle axe. Okay, I guess we'll just put that in. What, does that leave anything else? We got a lot of books. A lot of books that aren't up. A lot of books that aren't up. Okay. Well, that's a thing. That's a thing. It's okay, though. It's okay. Uh, things feel more stable now, even though there's going to be still lots of people who don't like us. So let's go to our vassals. Sort them of negative opinion of me. Got this guy. I don't know how we ended up without having him in the war. Uh, we're going to demand his conversion. He's probably not going to do it. Okay. Um, I'll leave him alone for now. But he is like literally one of the last holdouts. I almost want to just grant him to somebody. He wants to see him in the council, but otherwise he's pretty happy with me. Yeah, that's how it goes. The tyranny will go away in time. Everything else is good. We're just looking at... Our vassals who don't like us. We got this guy who we don't care about. He can just be mad. This person who we're kind of working on. I mean, we probably should be working on. Where is she? I don't know how she's that strong at all. And this is all like hinterlands. Like there's no Dutch Dutch up here, is there? I'd like to reorganize that area, but we'd need more things to happen up there, is the way I want to put it. We, we'd need this to be more organized, right? I would like for you to join, but you won't. Probably would if she wasn't at war, to be fair. And you offer vassalage. We're missing with you by the tiniest of amounts. There's just no fixing this guy is the thing. 
And this countess here just isn't good enough. Salangaria is not a powerful vassal. Duke Dante Alighieri, this is already a powerful vassal and already on the council. This count is not on the castle, council and never will be. His opinion of me is based on the fact that he's uh, still, still... I don't know, he might be manageable. He might actually be manageable. Woman that I'm working on here, who is this? She's actually probably fine at this point. Actually, so it so is the old man. Let's let's get some sways out, some real hard sways to get these people in line. We got two more people, the last two people who are on the wrong uh They're both powerful vassals. They both feel like they should be part of a duchy that exists. Like, do we not have the Duchy of Verona? We absolutely do not have the Duchy of Verona. Because I'd like to just get rid of these guys. I don't actually... If they're in the wrong place, as long as it makes my, uh, my overall strength better... I mean, I hold Lombardy. Lombardy. Piedmont is, of course, held by Salinguria, as is Genoa. We just handed out Pisa. Tuscany is held by Ma Mabad. Now, we did get him his title. That's interesting. I could grant you this vassal. This will probably cost me money that I can't afford to give up. But it does get rid of him. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, We should shift my powerful vassals. And then... I would like to get a duchy title for... Probably should have kept Genoa for her, to be honest. Like, I just jumped on it too fast. I don't really have a title for her because she's inside of Lombardy, which is mine, and Piedmont, which is his. I don't know who I want to grant him to. Who would I grant him to if I, if I granted him out? I guess the only person would be Tuscany that makes any sense. Uh, the hard question here is, what do I lose... In Milano. Do I lose access to this if I give it to her? Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave the way, things the way they are. We got one guy to deal with. Let's put a sway on him. I don't know if it's actually possible to sway him. But we're gonna call him the survivor for now. Because that's what he is. We should put another sway out someplace too. Look at our vassals again. The last person. But this powerful vassal here. We want to sway her up as well. Should be good. Okay, that should create a little bit more stability. It's costing us a lot of money. Which is a bit of a problem. Like, nearly an unsolvable problem. Your progeny has had time to f hard time understanding that, as a vampire, rules are different than they were in his mortal life. That's fine. I actually feel a lot better about the fact we were able to get, get Salangaria back on track. Uh, get him embraced and put him back where he belongs. I'm kind of glad he rebelled. You know, there's a lot of nepotism in that rebellion because we uh, we don't usually let people get away with that kind of shit, but uh, we let him get away with it, and we let that other Giovanni get away with it by making him into a uh, <laughs> a merchant. But this is better for us than than the other, that's for sure. Phlegmatic. Experience gets us to Spirit's Touch. Good. I guess maybe we should be searching for secrets since we're so good at it. I just don't want to get murdered, is the thing. Well, I'm supporting schemes. I, I haven't been protecting myself from murders for, like, ever. Are there any places around here where I think it'd be cool to find a secret or two? Maybe over here in... in, uh, in Francia? Might be some place where there's some... some little... little secrets. That we move might want to grab onto. I can vassalize this person for low feudal obligations. We'll absolutely do that. Education matter of faith. Faith, the first thing to know. This is doing it myself. It will stress me out, but I can absorb it. I don't want to pay 100 gold. I already paid 100 gold for him. We are going to need things to clean up. Excellent. What about you? Have you thought about uh, joining us? I think we're going to plan another one of these as soon as we can. Nope, that's the wrong one. 
I'll get started right away. I guess it didn't go because of the um, being at war. I don't really think I need any of this <laughs> to go two feet away from me uh, at all. Let's just spend the tiny amount of gold. We're just going to like a foot. This will this knowledge will broaden my horizons. Yes, yes, it will. So let's head over right next door. Show Count Bertoldo in at once. Yes, yes, come in. Thank you for having accepted the appropriate faith. I am so glad that you did. Meeting the mentor. So we're learning from you. A nice, a nice death torridor. I, I like some death torridors. You know, I've been feeling good about about how we've been making everybody worship death around here. We are ready to learn. Oh, other people are going to learn presence too. I like the fact it spreads it around. That's real cool. My greatness is recognized at last. What is the malignant heresy? A bit of intrigue down for a bit. That's fine. Fine. We're, we're not that important that we're that great at in intrigue anyway. Tempted by cruelty. You'll stop this craziness at once. Are we not already rivals? Oh no, the rivalry seems to have broken away. As long as it doesn't impact me. No, I don't care. Be rivals with me if you want. I thought we were rivals already, my friend. Friend, quote unquote. <laughs> I just wanted you all to like me. So I can get rid of this. For stress, which we'll do. We now have presence, which gives us something to learn with Sanguine when we pick up more, which is good. Something we definitely were looking for. And once we're home, we will burn off some stress. Thank death I can go inside again. Sheik veteran. The Ottoman Sultanate is suffering from a massive outburst of revolts. Although the military situation seems to be resolving in favor of the Sultan, you are interested in the leader of the rebels. This complex figure, Sheik Bedreddin, is the first and foremost theologian preaching the communal ownership of property and the equality of Christians and Muslims. He is no slouch in military matters either, having been the chief military judge of the Ottoman prince Musa. A revolutionary mindset is something dangerous to have in the slow-moving politics of vampires, but you are still entertaining the ideas of making sure this rebel ends up at your mercy. I don't think I need him. I don't know if I'd be able to find a place for him. I mean, we're trying to look for something under animal, right? Animals like animalism... Protean, Serpentis. Let's actually look at the list of what's available to us. Serpentis gives us Enchanting Gaze, which is five general opinion. That's just good. Serpent's Flesh is a power. Typhonic Maw is pretty cool. Protean is mostly combat oriented. While I think Serpentis is more mixed. I think we go with Serpentis, even though it'll cost us a lot more. I don't know. Protean is a good discipline, too. I think we like Serpentis, though. This will bring me closer to Set. I think I will feel better about Serpentis when it comes to spending those points immediately. Like, I think the first two things I buy with Serpentis will feel better than the first two things I would buy with Protean. I am going to, I think, though, shapeshift into incorporal form for a while makes us weaker in combat hurts our diplomatic schemes but i'm pretty sure we're good at those anyway with our 22 diplomacy eyes of the abyss give us lose two diplomacy gain an intrigue dread gaze dread gain murder scheme resistance and we're going to put on our eyes of the abyss instead I think that's good. Did not drop us down a herd member. Education Prestation. So we're taking Salangaria in to uh, talk to the, uh, the other vampires. He's very old. <laughs> He's very old. But, you know, it took us a long time to figure out a scheme, okay? You should be, you should be glad that we got you before you died, alright? Behave yourself in there. Please. 
we can turn this back up. No point in going slow. An education scheming vassal. You won this round. The favor hook. This baroness. She's literally just a baroness. Uh, she is playing with fire. I would rather her just be mad. Sullus in script. So, this count here, this Cappadocian count, has sent me a poem. He's Hungarian, that's cool. He's in JFS line. I'm just going to accept this as heartfelt, lose the stress, and uh, gain the opinion on him. Let's go. Education at an end. You are no longer a fledgling. Go out and live your life, child. Should I just take this person's five gold? Should I just accept the fact they're never going to make any money? Yeah, I think so. That is fine. As this gets better, things should get better in general. Memories of sunlight. It's surprising what a person misses after their embrace. You find yourself missing sunlight. You try to remember the way the world looks on a sunny day with blue skies and bright puffy clouds. Are these small joys truly out of your reach forever? I should hire a painter. I don't need to stress down. 1% chance I die. I mean, we're supposed to test against death, right? So, 1% <laughs> chance I die didn't happen. Alright, so we have... Got our son here, Fibonacci, doing his work. Our son here, Fibonacci, taking over this annoying guy. This is one of the last uh, merchants in Italy. Eating him alive. Uh, converting him to the proper faith and all. Hopefully uh, he gets the work done pretty fast. Is this... Uh, my work? No, but we can become friends. You can keep at that. This is extort subjects. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dropping the con the county control to zero. We can just do the dread, and they can just hate me. I don't care that they hate me. Let's bury the hatchet here. Good. Got some money on hand now. Also quite good. Too many herd members. Too many herd members. What can we do about that? What can we do about too many herd members? I think we're going to... Let's do our magic. Blood Sorcerer. Blood Sorcerer. No, not purchase. Readiness. Execute. Spell success. We are now aware for four years. That should fix that problem. We're going to also do centering. Execute it. Will power rouse. That was pretty good. Oh, centered three for three years. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That should help a lot. We do have a bit of stress come in now. But uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, it's good. It's good. We got this all handled right now. Uh, I'm happy to see us have this handled. Now let's come down here. I was thinking maybe... Maybe because we have a long-standing... Well, let's look who we've got for Primogen, okay? It's a good idea. So we have a Toreador Primogen. Why don't we build a Toreador building, then? We're not quite there yet. Well, we're going to do it. We're definitely going to build a Toreador building as soon as we have the money. It won't be too long. Not at tops. The Liberty Faction has disbanded. That's cool. Espionage murder. Well, an interesting secret to discover. Do we have any secrets that can be blackmailed? This. We'll blackmail you over that murder. I'd love the extra funds. Let's just grab that. Thank you for the money. Survey my capital. Hold court. I think we're going to delay holding court. We're almost... I think we're at the point where we can drop in and get more... Uh, more legendaries. We could also spend our money instead on stuff in here. 
We did want to start that bombard unit, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Hmm. Might be better to do reinvestment instead, though. Like, building that building down here is probably a good idea. We could also look at building these castles. Right? Like, not there, because that's way too expensive, but like here? How much is a castle? This is a temple. Milano is a temple. Wow, those are expensive. The only one I have that's actually a castle is this one. Yeah, they're really expensive. Okay, so that just that just gives us a bit of a idea of how much that will cost. So I think the best and fastest way to get more money would be to grab the uh, the Toreador building. To upgrade these buildings, how good do they have to be? Good. How good is our Toreador? He's good. So we could do that. We could also try to upgrade this, but I don't think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to build the Toreador building. We're just trying to get every single bit of coin. <laughs> every bit of coin we can. should also look in here to see how this is all uh, rolling out right now. Right, Our court grandeur level is stable above 6. Now we could reorganize this. We could take this down. And then put this up, which will make us get basically a whole gold back. We don't need the spacious lodgings anymore because we're not trying to draw anybody in, which is the only reason we had that at four to begin with. Putting this up doesn't help us, but we won't bother. I think this rebalancing will help, so we'll get that done. Make it a little bit more efficient for us, get us to two gold per month. To get us money at a faster rate, we definitely could use that two gold per month. Hopefully this stabilizes out down here soon, too. The non-believer secret, that's basically useless. Come on, we're looking for, like, diablerie secrets, murder secrets. It's freaking France, okay? Gotta be some stuff going on there. It's just the way it works. They want to grow. Where do you want to grow to? Is this up in here? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we needed that money. Espionage lovers? Probably not that useful, but it's good to have learned it, I suppose. Still building down there. Looking up here in Milano, what do we have that we can increase? You definitely do not have the development level where we can bring that up. Taking this to level 2 would be helpful because it lowers the monthly prestige down by 5%. As well as giving us two extra gold. What other choices do we have? We have the crypt. A level two crypt. Just more piety, more hostile. Team protection. More melancholy experience. Influencing the clergy. Helps us with our holding taxes here. Gets us more piety and more control. So we have the possibility of building a new building here that might give us some money. Influencing the nobles is a percentage. Looks like we have, oh no, we still have influencing the underworld available here. This makes them very unhappy though. Uh, but it does leave us 120 gold left that we could use to buy a bombard. Feels like this is two gold that might be better, more efficient for us to get, though. What do we have over here? Here we have this. We actually have the ability to take this to three here. It's also two gold and costs more. There's literally no reason to do the more expensive one before the cheaper one because they give us the exact same benefit. So I think we're going to do this. That's the most efficient way at this moment for us to get more. And we're going to build a Bombard unit. Horsemen hidden. Mass Embraced Vampires! We don't really do that. But we will get this Bombard here. And not only that, but we will increase it by one. We're not going to get rid of these, though, until we have at least 15. Right? Because, you know, it's fine. <laughs> we're not using all of our, our guys anyway. So, that's fine. 
Uh, I'm perfectly fine. This, though, very happy. I don't know why, but those cannons make me very happy. Uh, and with the buying of the cannons, oh, what did we get here? Ah, uh, Diabler is secret. That is where we're going to end this episode. So we have discovered, we have discovered, much like us, much, much like, oh, non-believer actually affects her. So I guess we'll grab that non-believer secret. The murder secret, a lover secret, Diablerus secret. Oh, ha, ha, that's great. Uh, nice. Very nice. Let's just grab this too. Bring in some more money with our secret discoveries. 80 gold there. Is she making money or is she on hold for money? She doesn't make money, so we'll just take her 10 gold. That's fine. 10 gold is enough. And with that, we are going to bring this episode to an end. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you join us the next time we are here with Lucretia, the Queen of Death, mistress of the Giovanni clan, where we probably are going to start saving prestige again to further our goal of getting part of the Book of Nod, and we probably were, are going to finally take Athens here. I also wanted to uh, do something here just before we leave, which is a buy a claim on just this county. Because I don't think we're going to get it any other way. It's a lot of piety, but we do need to gain Constantinople if we can. And that is going to be consideration for next time. I hope you join me then. Goodbye for now.